News. 24 hours. News Mississippi. I'm Courtney Carter, and this is the Weekly Rundown. So we've had several stories this week that you have really been talking about, and most of them are revolving around uh, politics and political involvement. So one thing that has really had you talking this week was when uh, Congressman Benny Thompson in D.C. said that the, um, the, the step-down letter that they had gotten from Flynn, the resignation, that it was welcome, but it still doesn't answer many of the questions between uh, President Trump and Russia and some of the doubts that are lying there you all were not too happy with that statement saying that he needed to pay more attention to what was going on here at home and that it was time for people to vote him out uh, you were really really uh, vocal about how you felt about that discussion going on there and so if you want to find out more about that see how other people are responding chime in on the conversation you can do that at facebook.com forward slash news ms Dot FM. So another story that's really had you talking this week, Danny Glover has joined the fight for unions at the Nissan plant in Canton. So here's, here's what's going on here. In March, there will be a March on Mississippi, and it'll be in Canton on the Nissan plant uh, to protest the fact that uh, what workers say is they use intimidation tactics to keep the unions out that they uh have unfair wages unfair compensation for holidays and sick time that they uh have some unsafe practices that people have even died at the plant but that the proper action wasn't taken at those times and so uh you've been really vocal about the fact that some of the workers there want to unionize. Some of you are saying that they need the representation. Others are saying that unions are what destroy the auto industry in Detroit and that that could happen here as well. Now, here is something that we do know about Nissan, however. Nissan currently produces eight different models of Nissan vehicles. So that is a much larger footprint than many of the other factories and uh, manufacturers uh, for Nissan across the globe. So one of the fears has been that if there were unions that they would pull out of Mississippi, however, with contracts and what have you, uh, that's not likely to be the case according to some of the workers there at Nissan. Also, another thing that you're gonna see is uh, Senator Bernie Sanders, uh, Benny Thompson, Danny Glover joining together in that march uh, along with hundreds of people who are coming in from all across the state and we were actually there with Danny Glover uh, and we spoke with him this week about his take on the situation and why he decided to come to Mississippi and you can see that online at newsms.fm you can also talk about it on our Facebook page at uh, uh, facebook.com forward slash newsms Dot FM. So another topic this week has been immigration. Now, as you know, there was the day without immigrants. And in Mississippi, there wasn't that huge of an economic impact. But we did speak with some people who said that perhaps there are more immigrants in Mississippi than what we truly know about. Now, the census predicted anywhere between 3 and 8% of an immigrant population here in the state. However, we spoke with an immigration lawyer uh, on the coast, and he said that just on his one coastal office, he has applications for assistance from over 2,500 immigrants from all various le levels of status, from undocumented to those who have been here who need to change their visa, who need to change their status, they're getting married, what have you. And so um, he says that given those numbers, he thinks that the census might be off and therefore it might be off the, the numbers that show the economic impact of uh, immigrants in Mississippi. He said those numbers may be off as well. Also, Wallet Hub did a study that determined um, that Mississippi is one of the least impacted economically by immigrants than any other in the union. But again, uh, the lawyer, um, Mr. Orozco, said that he believes that those numbers are off because they don't have an accurate count of how many immigrants are actually in the state. And so some of the stories you'll see us working on next week, we'll be talking about some of the FBI raids that have been happening with immigration across the state. Uh, we're also going to be talking about um, some some new events that are going to be coming up. And also we'll keep another uh, close eye on the legislature for, for you. News Mississippi Sarah Ulmer has been looking into that and she's going to continue to brief you on what happens in the legislature and we'll continue to keep you updated. Another one, if you've ever considered starting a small business in Mississippi, Lori Thompson spoke with the people who would help you get started, and who knows, you may figure out how to start your own business here in the Magnolia State. For News Mississippi, I'm Courtney Carter, and this is the Weekly Rundown.